Hello, faithful viewers, Mr. Mr. Who Reviews. Um, good evening, on DuckTales Season 2, Episodes 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, three episodes in uh, one day. I think they might have changed the day they came out or something, I don't know. Anyway, first episode is Treasure of the Lost Lamp. This person is either a, um, a wolf or a coyote comes to Duckburg to get a lamp from Scrooge McDuck, which is which is called the Lamp of the First Genie. Apparently, it's uh, connected to the family, and it isn't given to him by sunrise. Then the horrible things might happen. And Scrooge and uh, Louis start looking for a uh, lamp in the garage. Uh, turns out that the uh, Louis sold the lamp in a garage sale. Well, uh, well, actually, Louis just made up the garage sale and got tired of it. So anyway, so he got Duckworth to do it. So to distract uh, the guy named uh, Jin, uh, Scrooge and Webby make up a fake of uh, an answer in uh, Mr. Quack, while the boys try to uh, find a lamp. And they find out from Duckworth, Duckworth that he sold the lamp to a uh, uh, oh, I remember the name here. Uh, the the their uncle that's a gander. I, f I forget. Um, turned out that he has the uh, trade lamp for his new, new house. F uh, to uh, or from. Um. Doofus Drake. Um, when they go to his house, he's playing the fireman for an hour. Yeah. And turns out he wanted to use the lamp as a gravy boat. But since they ran out, he has to put it in the trash. Yeah. And apparently, he yeah, screwed where we got a. 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 Missing due to temple as trials, and James up facing the the octopus from the Mr. Quack episode. <laughs> like kind of like that, the octopus just moaning that the that James hurting him. And Webby saying the and uh, no uh, improv stick to the script. I do kind of like that Webby is just getting ecstatic. They'll put on her old uh, like a, a quest adventure thing, and. Day, uh, Yui and Louie do find uh, Dewey's uh, dramatic uh, monologue annoying, but I think it's kind of good. And I do kind of like that Dave Tennant is uh, playing a, uh, or just doing a, a minotaur role while while it screws. Since the next uh, silence is a uh, the real minotaur. I don't know. See, just getting the. The rules from uh, Celine's uh, a joke book. Um, when they find out that the lamp gone to the trash, they uh, or Celine is convinced and Jane to go back to Duckburg, saying that Ma Beagle stole it. Uh, when they get there, Ma Beagle just says that there's a lamp here. And then uh, coming through away, and I mean, it's mine. And of course, uh, it's Jen is kind of upset, but not for long. That uh, screwing the boys lied to him. And I do kind of like that uh, Bob Beagle is just getting ecstatic about it being a, a genie lamp. He doesn't know about it. And there's a good chase sequence that's fight in uh, the. Garbage uh, place. And do kind of like to see him in a Ma Beagle and Scrooge are trying to climb up there the, the tower of uh, tires and grab the lamp 
sort of, I think both said it'd be an homage to uh, or a reference to the uh, original uh, DuckTales open with uh, screws and uh, Gromgold uh, grabbing a lamp and uh, Marty will get it and her first wish is just priceless uh, better stones <sighs> but yeah spoilers for this and your episode uh, turn out uh, the lamp isn't technically done the technically have a genie in it and the reason that uh, Jim wanted it so badly because it's uh, a family heirloom and it's his birthday and apparently it belongs to uh, one of his ancestors yeah and uh, that's the end they just get the lamp back and Scrooge is just convinced of getting some of the the artifacts in his garage to the uh, duck work, work uh, duck, uh, the, the town museum uh, after uh, the kids saying that they don't really see he's only uh, telemating about the artifacts apparently he opened the wing for him and uh, this stuff is very good like I said the fact that Webby's just gonna like static make up on a venture and uh, bring back some of the characters from some episodes was great and Doof is just as freaky as always. And, uh, yeah, great episode. Um, the next one is even better, which is uh, the outlaw Scrooge McDuck. Uh, after he had Scrooge, uh, here's Louis saying like he's given up on the whole uh, Louis Enterprises business. Big. Because uh, there's a long line in the. I can forget what, what the place is for, but I think it's supposed to be like a copyright thing. So he's one of the troll, like a real life mock troll, uh, car bed. He just uh, starts telling uh, Louis about uh, when he was in the old west and uh, digging for gold nuggets. Oh, yeah, and the Ottoman Empire uh, show thing. Yeah, the two guys that broke up now only one of the guys is doing it. I guess he mentioned in the last episode that Jay saying that the Ottoman Empire did something to their family or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, in this in the this story that Scrooge is telling, he meets uh, the the sheriff that's also uh, whose first name is uh, uh, Manson or um, or something like I forget. Um, do you hear that there's somebody else looking for gold nuggets in the town that he's in? I think it's called Grint or something. And so that's Goldio Guilt. And um, there's a whole montage of them, uh, does it get out of each other or does it digging for uh, gold nuggets? I kind of like the part where the screws is talking, like I uh, say, dude, and up on my grill because that. Uh, we really don't want to say the old, the, old, the old timing lingo, but yeah, that's just worse. Oh my god. And this guy named uh, Rocket Duck actually uh, took a really huge a uh, gold nugget from uh, Screws and uh, Goldie. And I'm sure he actually bought the town, promising that, that you make it better. Or something, but later on they find out that he's just a swindler. And through that, that gyro is in OS as well. Apparently, he put together some sort of a time machine. And screws in the Goldie so I can team up to get the gold look back. And just when they're planning out, plan out to escape the sheriff of the last mouth. And the driver was saying that the sheriff is uh, annoyingly familiar to him. I think he might be uh, the guy that, that said gets him to look ancestor or something. Anyway, uh, Screws and uh, Goldie get onto uh, Rocket Duck's train looking like sophisticated rich people. And Goldie is just distracting everybody by singing the uh, 
song while Scrooge says like, a key to uh, where the golden nugget is. And he fights uh, Rocket Duck's uh, 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 bodyguard. I don't know, and screw that's the uh, get let him to let him uh, get the gold nugget by saying that hey uh, they're kind of similar and he deserves his piece gold nugget as well. I think he got an idea when uh, Goldie was pitting screws and a uh, rocket duck against each other, and he tried to uh, do the same thing with the bodyguard, so I can try taking a. Uh, Go number four, Rocket Duck, but he, he came out, he came, he's gonna run out of uh, people to put, it, to put against. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Anyway, uh, the sheriff actually turns up to get the gold nugget, and it looks like he's gonna get it back to town, but the rocket, a uh, horse that uh, Zara made actually explodes, and the gold nugget splits into pieces down the river. And uh, when they think everything's lost, Turns out that uh, no, the gold nugget's gone to the stream of the town. And um, Screws is a little bit happy of being a hero, but he'd rather have the gold nugget. And um, uh, Louis got interested in the story eventually. And there's this good part when uh, Goldie's saying that one of the reasons he uh, came to town was to see Screws and them again. And, they just about to kill each other, but he hits with a fry batter, something, and he lands in the fountain, and just runs off to get the gold. Yeah. And the uh, screws are telling Louis that he's telling this story just to uh, get his perspective of who he wants to be, like a Connors, like a uh, Rocket Duck, a Swindler, like a uh, Goldie, or upstanding businessman, like a uh, Scrooge. And that's when the uh, gyro turns up, but that's what year is, and uh, Louis called the uh, goalie the uh, answer to tease some all she knows. And he says answer on the phone, yes, he thinks Uncle will be mad at him. Uh, I have to say, this is a great episode, and so far, this has to be my favorite episode of the season. I just love seeing Goldie and Scrooge. Together, just the banter between the two, and have good chemistry with each other. And that's how screws talking the the lingo of a young person is just weird. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just wondering if, if this is before or after the gold rush when uh, he and a uh, Goldie were encasing ice for five years. Uh, I don't know. They still mentioned that uh, his uh, top hat covers his ball spot, but. Uh, don't know. And finally, episode 10, the 80, 87 cent solution. And then there's uh, Screws, is, uh, uh, has a little bit of a cold, but he's only a. Uh, tank is that big of a deal. And he thinks it does. The, the, this guy really the cold and he says jump into his uh, um, money pit but then he's thinking that uh, he's been something stolen from uh, the money pit and he uh, instantly thinks it's Glungo so he marches into uh, Glungo's office or whatever while he and the woman that took over Glungo Industries were talking but they won't say that Grumble didn't do it since the entire time. Uh, this the uh, episode that brings back the bet that he made back in the, the episode where Grumble had amnesia. Uh, the screws is something that crazier and crazier since he's put up uh, more uh, defenses for the money pit, even getting the uh, Gizmo Duck to check out. Uh, some of the uh, suspects. And apparently, uh, they still haven't uh, found where Maska is. And the Be Beagle Boys are at this uh, convicts convention. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, yeah, screws him red eyes, like literally. And some the the kids cows money. And when they hear that he only lost uh, eight and seven cinema or some why he's the uh, so angry. Well the screws is right in about the amount of money that was stolen it was is about uh, it being stolen period. That's the problem. Because I doubt that he would even like a one cent being stolen rather than a million dollars. Anyway, uh, Screws is, is getting angry and thinking that uh, this uh, person named uh, Charlie is uh, stealing. And he just yeah, lost his uh, spats and made uh, new ones from the tissues that uh, Yui left in his uh, office and his closure. Shrinking as he has a giggled up fire on Long's pad and uh, Dewey was in wondering pl the plane. <sighs> um, since that uh, screws gone kind of crazy, and after uh, destroying the bridge in Duckburg, some of the investors pull out Nazi give some money to Glumgold. Yeah. So the case trying to have an intervention for Scrooge and even that Manny the Mad Horse is thinking that he's gone crazy. Yeah, when a headless Mad Horse thing gone crazy, you know something's wrong. And Webby and the uh, Gizmo look are the only ones that believe him, but when he's about to just uh, fall, uh, jump into uh, the money pit, they try stopping him. Oh yeah, and he think that he, he has a gold fever, which is the first time they, they reference it, and some in the first story arc of the original DuckTales. And uh, thanks to Screws losing his investors, uh, Glumgold actually becomes the most richest duck in the uh, Duckburg. And the news saying that Screws actually died when he had uh, jumped in the money pits. And of course, everybody's upset, and Donald's just uh, crying and yelling and that. Uh, here comes then Glumgold in a fancy uh, suit and a song implying that he won, going on and dancing in, telling uh, the, the woman that he's, that he's uh, talked to, the, that the woman screws his uh, casket so he can dance on it. Ugh. I don't know. Anyway, when uh, Yui just gave him the eulogy, Grimgold is getting angry since he's saying that there was no way an evil mastermind was doing it. And uh, that's when Grimgold reveals that he was the evil mastermind that did everything. Because uh, he, he found this uh, device that can stop time. And this just uh, came from when uh, Scrooge went into uh, the money pit the first time in the episode. And at first, he didn't know what was going on. Like, he thought that the one that took over his company was ignoring him. And he got into a two hour stereo contest with a baby. How this guy be one of the most richest ducks in the world? And eventually, he had found out what the device was and he wanted to use it to drive. Scrooge crazy! So he's just been trolling him the entire time. But just when he thinks that he's won, turn out he actually faked Scrooge's death. Because uh, it turned out that Scrooge didn't jump into the uh, money pit. Because yes, he sneezed before he did and realized that he probably is sick. And when he was well, uh, him and the kids put their heads together and realized. Well, uh, Glumgold did. And he just stays this whole, uh, fake death fiasco. And I just love the line that Screws gives that the reason that he's better than Glumgold because he has his family to, uh, to, uh, ground him. And that he's way better at uh, being crazy than Glumgold. Uh, Glumgold does a Tax screws and 
you fall, fall out of the, uh, the a window or something and they get stuck in time. Uh, but then Beagley just comes, they pull screws down and the time is just back. And I just love the line with uh, Beagley asked, uh, what do you do when screws uh, when, you're, uh, when your uncle is physically uh, insane? And one of, the, some of the kids are saying, uh, call Beagley and I guess then Louis saying that uh, face screws is dead. Ugh, I just love it. Ugh. And uh, that's true to say that the eight and cents that Gumball to uh, took and the uh, licks something I don't know and leaves. I have to say this is this is a great episode. They've had played as crazy screws. It's just fantastic. And I have to ask, if it wasn't the gold fever, then why was that Scrooge's eyes red? Is it just because of the cold or something? And once again, how the hell did Grumgold become one of the richest ducks ever if he, if he uh, had plans like this? Ugh. I just don't like it when he when he just says uh, celebrating that Scrooge's death and he the richest duck in the world now even though uh, the woman that took over his comedy saying technically he uh, died of uh, died of a uh, gold fever but the girl was just taking it as a win anyway. Yeah. I this is one of the reasons I love Gloom Gold. He's an egotistical crazy jerk. That just has baffling crazy plans. And he's just great. Um, all the episodes are great, but I think uh, episodes uh, 9 and 10 are a bit better than uh, 8. It just, it just seems more crazier, in my opinion, but eh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think next time is with the, the Golden uh, Streets or something. I, I, I don't know. I, I, they don't have the summary up for the next episode, but they have the title. Eh, I guess that's the way to say. Anyway, hopefully next, next week's one, or next one is uh, as good as these or better. And uh, next time, I'm still. See you guys. There.